hi student today we will talk about one of the important topic that provide base for the uh, cracks and watson to propose the dna model that is chergoff rule our chergoff and his co-worker during the period of 1949 to 1953 he isolated dna sample from the different organism now he studied the chromatographic method to for the separation and the quantitative analysis of the dna he concluded that dna consists of the four bases are present and the dna that is adenine guanine cytosine and thymine now he said that, that the uh, he proposed some point about these nitrogenous bases he proposed the four points regarding to these bases that are present and the dna that are the first one that is the basis composition of the dna vary from one species to another species mean the concentration uh, of these four bases adenine guanine cytosine and thymine it vary from species to the species so this is the first point of the this chirogoff now the second point that he said that dna sample isolated from different tissue of the same species have the same base composition it means that when we isolate it from the same species we isolated different dna from the different tissue but the species is same now this dna sample contain the same composition mean the concentration of these four bases that are same in a particular species this is the second point now the third point that is the base composition and a given dna species does not change with age nutritional state or change in the environment it means that the base composition in a dna it does not affected with the age nutritional state or change or any change in the environment this does not affect the base composition of the dna now the fourth point that we are all familiar with it with it that is the statement of the chergaf rule we we will always familiar with these points so the fourth point that is the number of adenine it is equal to the thymine while the number of guanine that is equal to the cytosine so he also tell that the number of furin it is equal to the pyrimidine so furin contain adenine and guanine while the pyrimidine it contain thymine and cytosine so the second third point about the chirga fruit that is the amino basis it is equal to the oxy basis it means that that the bases contain amino group so these bases we have two that is adenine and cytosine while the oxy bases that contain oxygen that is guanine and cytosine so this is the important point of the chirga fruit now we will discuss some problem related to the, these rule so if we have dna and it have the concentration of adenine is 30 percent now what will be the concentration of the guanine now we know that's from the first point of the chirga fruit that is the number of adenine it is equal to the thymine now you can see here of the mm, concentration of the adenine it is 30 percent now we can easily understand by using this rule that the concentration of thymine because the concentration of adenine it is equal to the thymine so obviously we have get the find that the number of thymine it is about 30 percent because of equal concentration now we have the rule that is adenine it is equal to thymine while the guanine it is equal to the cytosine now the sum of this adenine and thymine it will equal to the 60 percent now we have we also know from this find that the number the remaining 40 percent it will be the number or the concentration of the guanine and cytosine so you can see that that it is the combination of both these basis now you can simply understand that the 20 percent it is attributed or it contributed by the guanine while the remaining 20 percent it is uh, contributed by the cytosine so you can simply know that the concentration of the guanine it will be 20 percent so this is a simple uh, problem related to the statement of the chirgoff rule now here are the some point that is related to the chirgoff rule so that's we have the, an organism that is the most advanced organism are the very fremato or lower organism now what is the base ratio in this organism so first of all what what the base ratio is so you can see here the adenine and thymine when it divide by the guanine and cytosine it will become s ratio so it is actually the base is present so we call it is the base ratio now the base ratio that is present in a advanced organism that human are the most evolved or advanced organism on the surface of the earth so the base ratio for, for this advanced organism it will high while for the low organism are the primitive organism that we have the bacteria for this we have the low base ratio is found now you can see here from the example that is the base ratio for the human 
it will become 1.52 so it is high as compared to the base ratio that is found in a bacteria that is Scarlett's E. coli the base ratio for the E. coli it is 0.93 so you can see here the clear difference there this ratio is very small as compared to the uh, human that are the most advanced animals so the base ratio it is high in the advanced organism that is human now finally we will talk about the important aspect of the chirgaf rule that is where for, for which it is applicable it is applicable only to dna or it is applicable to the rna so here you can see here applicable for only double standard dna this chirgaf rule it is applicable only for the double standard dna it is not applicable for rna and single standard dna for these two it is not applicable rna and single standard dna it is not applicable so this rule chirgaf rule it is also not applicable for the mitochondria and the flasted dna here and the mitochondria are the double standard dna is present and the chloroplasts are fast the dna is present now for this dna the chirgaf rule it is not applicable so we have the single standard rna it is not applicable but we have also the single uh, double standard rna so for this double standard rna is the chirgaf rule is applicable so you can see here the question that is is this rule applicable for the double standard rna so you can see here in the double standard rna either the rna single standard or the double standard the nitrogenous basis that is present and the rna that is uracil which is present instead of the thymine the, the uh, instead of the thymine the uh, and the rna uracil nitrogenous base is it is present now you can see here the double standard rna it is also not applicable by the double standard rna because we know that the nitro uh, the chirgaf rule said that the number of adenine it is equal to the thymine while the number of guanine it is equal to the number of the cytosine so there is no concept of the uracil that is nitrogenous base found in the da and uh, the rna so you can see here in the double standard rna the nitrogenous base that is present that is uracil so due to the presence of uracil the double standard rna the chirgaf rule it is not applicable for the double standard rna so this is all about the chirgaf rule about the uh, introduction uh, about some point that was proposed by the chirgaf rule problem and its applicability of the chirgaf rule thank you so much